Hello beautifuls and welcome to my channel. My name is Carolina Paez and today we're going to do this galaxy skull look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right to it. Hey guys okay so starting off we're gonna start starting off we're gonna start no way starting off we're gonna prime our face and you just want to get it all over your face now I love this primer because it smells like a man I mean who needs a boyfriend when you could just smell this all the time for this look we're gonna be using the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and look at these colors mm-hmm Okay, we're gonna start off by grabbing black rainbow, rainbow, and we're just gonna outline our eye sockets. A good way to do this is just poke around your eyeball, just around your eyeball, and just start outlining where your eye socket is. So what I like doing is just poking around my eye edges, I guess you can say, and just connecting the dots. This doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be symmetrical. One of mine's bigger than the other. Oh well, who cares? Whatever. Dipping into Expensive, this blue color on the corner with a fluffy brush. We're just going to apply it basically to random spots on your face. Just random spots. Just go ham where you think blue goes. Blue's going to go there, girl. Blue is going to go there. The next color we're going to be using is Violent. It's a purple purple. Flying purple people, might as well say. It's a purple color. Thank you. I like applying violence right next to expensive. It just makes everything blend more easily. Also, it's an expensive violence. Like when you're in college and you want your tuition paid because you just can't pay anything and you just want to jump in front of a damn bus. That's some expensive violence right there. Just kidding, guys. Don't do that. Dipping into star power, this is a hot, I mean hot, bright pink. When I mean bright, I mean goals, like goals bright. We're going to be dipping this and just covering it basically all over my face, wherever my super, super pale white skin is showing through. I'm just going to apply this everywhere and just blend it out throughout the other colors as well. Using Princess, we're going to highlight the face. This color is stunning, guys. It's like a diamond pink. Super beautiful. So we're just going to apply this just to highlight parts of our face where the sun would usually hit or just random spaces. <laughs> spaces because we're in space. <laughs> Knee slather. All right, I'm done. Bye. So your face should be looking something like this, just a mixture of colors. Oh, and we're getting sexual now. All right, moving on. Using black water activated face paint, we're gonna start drawing our nose. I like doing two sort of squiggly triangles. You guys could do whatever you like. There is a whole bunch of skull nose options out there. I just prefer this one. Um. 
using a small brush and the same black water activated paint, we're going to start to draw the mouth and the teeth. So doing this, we're going to go in the middle of our upper and lower lip and just draw a small black line and we're going to extend it to where about you think your teeth are going to end. A good way to do this is just to poke around your face and feel where you think your teeth end and where all your bones are basically. Okay, we're going to start drawing the cheekbone in the same method we're going to use here. Just poke around your face, feel where your bone structures are, and just start drawing on there, basically. Everyone's different. Everyone has a different face shape. So, just poke around, honey. Just poke around. So I am looking at a reference picture of a skull because I do have chubby chubby cheeks. So this helps me just define where the bone structure is supposed to be. Starting the shading process, we're just going to go with the black paint over where we already outlined everything. You do want to do this really gently. You're just going to grab your finger and just smudge it down. Remember, less is more, especially with dark colors. You could always add more color, but it's a little bit harder to take it away. Adding black to the triangle near our ear, you're just going to want to blend it towards the ear as well and just outline everything to give it a little bit more precise definition. My camera stopped recording when I started doing the teeth. Boo! But I got you. Beto, I got you, boo, okay? So you just want to put vertical lines where your teeth are, basically. You go slightly open your mouth and just draw a line there where each tooth is. You do want to make this as even as possible to give it a more realistic effect. Leaving you alone Until you find your way back home Once you have each tooth outlined, you're going to want to go in and kind of draw like a Hershey kiss. What I mean by this is you want it thicker on the bottom and thinner on the top. You want it to tape up as teeth do. So you find your way back home. More poking! Okay, so around your temple area, you're just gonna poke around and feel where it does cave in. And we're just gonna outline this and fill it in with black. Don't let me drown. Don't let me 
drown. So I'm going to draw those two dots that skulls have in the front. I believe arteries pass through this. I'm not entirely sure. Don't judge me. But we're just going to draw those out. Blend them in with your finger. Just keep dabbing, keep adding, basically, till you feel that it's right. In the frontal bone in the middle of our forehead, we're going to draw the outline of the outer eye socket. This is just going to give our skull more dimension. It's kind of going to look like an upside down triangle or kind of like a heart in a way. And you're just going to do the same thing, just blend that in to give it more of a realistic effect. Now we're going to fill in our teeth. This is the most time consuming, tedious part. So I'm going to do this off camera guys using white paint and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I filled in the teeth and added some random cracks to the skull as well. Now we're just going to fill in that template we outlined earlier. Using this small brush, I'm just going to go back into the black we were using earlier. Using a blending brush, this one from the Morphe Vegan Collection, we're going to dip lightly into that black shadow. This is going to give the skull more dimension and just apply random blotches throughout your face basically. Just dab lightly, blend it in with your finger. With a small brush and the same white paint we used earlier to fill in our teeth, you want to apply random stars throughout the face, as well as different sizes of them. How I like doing my stars, I just like making a T, a cross, whatever you want to call it, and then just filling it in and extending the edges. All right, guys, if you want, you can leave it right here. But since I am myself and I love, love, love lashes, I'm going to go and put some lashes on to my neck. And I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys. Okay, so I applied my lashes on. These are the Icon lashes. They are in style Brooklyn. And I absolutely love these lashes. They're super long, super wispy. Okay guys, so this is the final look. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, share, and tag me in all your recreations of this. So the inspiration from this look came from my nails. I got the holographic nails and I'm absolutely in love with them guys. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in my next video, but until then, Smile, be creative, love each other. Bye, guys. <laughs>